We caught up at Chase Brooks, round number three, is champion of the Wrangler National Finals in the Bronc riding. The Deer Lodge Montana Cowboy, 90 points in the victory of last night's round. We caught up with Chase. You know, talk us through the ride because that that horse can be a handful. Yeah, he uh, he kind of stood funny in there. So when he left, it it kind of felt like I ran out the back of my saddle a bit. And I, I knew if I fell off him, then the rest of the guys in the locker room were going to make fun of me all week. So <laughs> I, uh, I figured I had to try my best to stay on. Did you have a favorite pick coming in here? Did you look at a stock contract? Oh, I'd like to draw that one and maybe this week yet to come? Uh, yeah, normally I try just not to think about what's there. I figure we're here 10 days, we got to crawl on everything. So the less I think about it, the less likely I am to overthink it. So I just get on and, yeah, roll with it. But there's definitely some in there that you see them next to your name and you're, you get a little excited. <laughs> Am I going to celebrate? I'm going to go sit in a hot tub, I think, tonight. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, recover a little bit. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I'm Jeff Marn, live for the Wrangler National Finals. Last night in the tie-down roping, Tough Cooper, the former world champion, took the round. We caught up to Tough following last night's performance. We found out the tough starts because the tough hurts. We've been sick for three days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been a little under the weather. You know, uh, it's something that you know you, get, you can block out for six seven seconds at a time <laughs> so you blocked it out for six point yeah six point nine tonight but uh got antibiotics today finally. yes yeah you know uh my wife she you know she went to uh went to the doctor and lined me out so hopefully we're uh, we're gonna get this thing lined out we got seven days to go right here in vegas um it's a marathon you know you you want to you want to win every chance you get but you want to just keep putting good runs together and get the big check at the end so first paycheck here first go round win since 2015 yeah. <laughs> what does it mean to get this thing back I mean, well to win a world championship you have to do your you have to do your best every night you can't really just go at them as you saw last year with my approach you know i was trying to go at every one of them and i've come up short you know quite a few rounds and this year i'm going to have just not a conservative you know rope and style but you have to score catch and tie them all down and because the average plays such an important role and that's all i've really been focused on really the past four or five months is just making sure that i've put myself in a good pattern just to go make good solid runs go make the same run every night and hopefully that's that game plan will work at the end uh, it's worked before so hopefully it, it, uh, it it'll continue to work two weeks ago you were moving <laughs> how does that help you prepare for this 10 rounds well it's a completely different yeah, yeah completely different setup different event this thing's t 10 days long really two weeks long you know with with how you're out here for you're, you're here before a few days before it starts you know that thing's such a fast pace you know two days five rounds each day you know you have you have time to think about it you have time to really go fix stuff and really figure out what you need to do and what you need to improve on you got to come you got to show up each night 10 nights in a row you know that's that's the important game plan and it's really just getting focused and, and being the best i can for 10 days how do you how do you make the schedule work and still get yourself prepared <laughs> for each night well i have a really good team around me and you know we've been here multiple times so everybody kind of knows their drill you know my dad my mom the guy that's out here with me james barton you know taking care of topaz uh, my wife you know my buddies you know all my sponsors you know they they know the drill they know that this is the most important time for you know a contestant's career is these 10 days at vegas so everybody is doing is lending the best hand that they can to whether it's encouragement or just you know like i had my buddy go get me some uh some cough medicine uh, cough drops at you know two in the morning last night you know just little things that help out Tough, what got you here this year? Uh, have you been able to use the same horse all season, and are you yeah, still that's riding? Yeah, my it? main horse, Topaz. I've been riding her since about 2012. I've been riding her out here, you know, and Vegas since 2013. So she's she's a veteran. Uh, she knows the drill, and uh, it's just we just have to we, we connect so well together. And I absolutely love her footing after three nights still a little loose topsoil or did you get a good heel in there and get <laughs> yeah i got a good heel in there pretty good yeah yeah it's, they said some new dirt this year so uh horse seems to like it